Jesus. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. God bless you. Um, glad to see all of you today. Welcome into this new year. Year that you are going to take charge. You are going to be in control of every situation that you find yourself in the name of Jesus. Today is going to be a wonderful day. This is the year of new beginning. Happy New Year to all of you. Happy to be to meet you in 2017. You can see now that devil is a coward. We made it. Congratulations. I want to say congratulations to you and your family. Despite what you went through in the past year. Mm -hmm. Now you are in another year. Happy New Year to you. God bless Sister Lola. Happy to see you, Sister Esther. God bless you. Happy to see you, Apostle. Glad to see you in this new year. This is the year we've all been waiting for because it's going to be the most exciting year you've ever experienced. This year is going to be a year that you're going to look back and say, Father, I thank you because I never knew there's something so great something so important something so wonderful ahead of me like this i see god blessing us in this 2017 in a great dimension in a, in a wonderful way many of us we've been to church today many of us we've we've even received so much blessings we've you know we've tagged our year in different ways that the holy spirit has ministered to us thank god for that we appreciate god god bless you ma thank you for joining us pamela sister pamela thank you your light oh thank you thank you very much for joining happy new year i'm excited is someone excited in the house is someone there excited is someone on on this platform is excited this evening let me see your face let me see you just press just press something if you're excited yeah let me see your hand yeah thumb up i like that thank you i'm so excited because last year you know god did so many things for us kept us protected us guided us watched over us it did more than we expected for some of us some things didn't come true, but we still bless the name of the Lord because God is faithful. Anytime that you trust God for something and that particular thing does not come true, God has no fault. God has no fault. We need to check ourselves. Maybe God has fulfilled his part and is waiting for us to move in one direction or the other to be, for the prophecy to come to pass. Or for that thing to come or it is not your time but everything that you were not able to achieve last year before the first quarter of this year you will achieve them all in the name of jesus you are going to pursue this year you are going to recover and overtake in the name of jesus what has been difficult for you in the past years will not be difficult for you this year you will find things very very easy this year in the name of jesus i know many of us we've, we've prayed a lot concerning this new year we've received so many words you know from the lord and uh, so many prophecies mm -hmm. we've tagged our year different ways as i've said but what the holy spirit is ministering to me to speak to us today or to share with us is more of a watchword for the year is what when you do you end up having those things that we we claim or that we we want 
So in this in this case, we need to do. There are some things we need to do before we now get the result that we want. So what are those things that God expects from me and you as a woman, as a man, as a married or single? If you are there, God expects us this year to have mm -hmm. wisdom. God ministered to me to speak to us and tell us that this year, 2017, if you can pray for wisdom, more than praying for money, more than praying for uh, blessings, more than praying for material things. If you can only pray a right, if you can only pray, you know, and ask God for wisdom. Everything that you, you are looking up to, everything that you want, everything that you desire, you end up having them. Solomon asked for wisdom. And he was he ended up getting more than he bargained, more than he wanted, more than he, he asked. So the Lord is telling us this year that we should ask for wisdom. We should ask him for wisdom. Most of the challenges we faced last year, or most of the things we lost last year, it's because of lack of wisdom. I'm telling you what I had and what the Lord is telling me to tell us that we should look into praying for wisdom every day and i was given the scripture proverbs chapter 8 i don't mind if you can write it down proverbs chapter 8 and um, proverb that uh, you read from the beginning to the end and also proverbs chapter 9 If you look at the if you look at these proverbs, these two proverbs is basically talking about the importance of having wisdom. You know, the Bible says, if anyone lack wisdom, let him ask of God. So when I'm talking about wisdom, I'm talking about divine wisdom, you know, wisdom from God. So God expects us to ask for wisdom. In running our homes, in running our business, in running um, uh, even in the place of work, you know, in our career, we need the wisdom of God. Even in training our children, we need wisdom. So he says that God that giveth to all men liberally, he gives wisdom as we ask. He does not withhold it from us. Only if we can ask him. The only prayer request that I see God not, you know, suspending or, or not answering is when we ask for wisdom. Anytime we go before the Lord and ask for wisdom, he answers us. So we need wisdom. Proverbs chapter 8, Proverbs chapter 9. We need to read it. When we read these two um, chapters, we also need to read uh, Proverbs chapter 24, 3 and 4. It says, true wisdom is an house building, and by understanding it is established. And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. I know that we run a family those of us who are married, we want our home to be the best. Mm -hmm. We want God to bless our husbands. Mm -hmm. We want God to bless our wives. But we need wisdom. Most of the challenges we, we had in our relationships last year, some of them are because we lack wisdom. Now, it's not every time you go before the Lord and pray and mm -hmm. believe that it's just prayer that will solve your problems. Some of the problems we have or we've, we've had in the past is because we lack wisdom. So the Lord is telling me to tell us that this year, as many that will open their mouth and ask God for wisdom, we end up having every other thing that they desire, like riches, like uh, treasures, like money, like uh, blessings, 
like promotion, everything that you would have pursued or you would have been praying for, the Lord is telling me that just asking for wisdom, we do that for you. So it, it, it has simplified even your your endless prayer point or your endless, you know, uh, uh, sleepless nights of, you know, praying. It's good when we pray and we don't pray amiss. When we know what we are trusting God for and we know how to go about it, it makes things easier for us. So the Lord is saying that this year, I'm talking to us, we should not be naive. We should not be inexperienced. We should gain knowledge. We should study the word of God. We should even gain knowledge in every area that you know that you are ignorant. Because you remember the word of God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So any area that you know that you are ignorant and you need light, you know, in that area, just try as much as possible to gain knowledge. Because we need what? We need wisdom. We need knowledge and understanding. And it is important because through wisdom, a house is built. Through understanding, it is established. And through knowledge, the house is filled. So we need wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I, I hope I'm talking to somebody. Uh, if we are able to do this, seek God for divine wisdom, then it will help us because when you have wisdom, you have direction. When you have wisdom, you, ha you are guided. You know, you, so wisdom guides you. Wisdom directs you. So wisdom gives direction. So some of us now, we are like in the middle of the road. We don't even know what to do yet. Yes, we've written our goals for 2017. But we don't know how to go about it. The Lord is telling me to tell you. The simple prayer you need is, Father, I need your wisdom. I need your wisdom. I need your wisdom. I need your wisdom. So you need to ask the Lord. Uh, I want us to share the link now. I want us to share. If you've not shared the link, I want you to share it. And I just quickly remember that yesterday I came on um, briefly just about 20 something minutes because of a situation that I saw and I, I just wanted to share it before the end of 2016 and that was the situation I don't know how many of us have listened to that um, live broadcast I don't know if there is anyone listening to me now that you listened actually yesterday to that bro uh, live broadcast it was just about the fact that uh, some videos are going viral that are so demonic and terrible. And the fact that social media is bringing things to people's phones, you know, iPad, computers, without even asking them or without even, you don't have to even be their friends to have those videos, makes it more, you know, more more dangerous especially for our children because you know there is no age restriction on whatsapp and most of these videos exposing people exposing their 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 private parts you know people uh people you know exposing their private parts people um recording themselves nude you know while they are in the act or while they are you know, masturbating or while they are fondling their boobs and all that. All those things are terrible sights for children. And I just, I said also there that it has actually scattered so many homes. And th those ladies doing it or women doing it, they actually need help. So I, I just pray that the Lord will change, touch them so that they change. We, we don't have to expose ourselves. And, um, God loves us. We need to know that we need to keep our body. We need to keep ourselves. It's very important. That's what I talked about yesterday briefly. So please, if you've not listened to that um, video that I said, breaking news, every uh, keep your private parts private. Listen to it because it will open your eyes and it will make you to know what is going on. So I was saying that wisdom gives direction. Wis wisdom gives authority. 
when you are wise you know you 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 are in control you are you are in control you have authority you have power it gives power if you read all the scriptures i said we should read that i was uh, i said before you will see all what i'm talking about right there so it's like summary of what i have read about it so wisdom also gives strength because you do you know that you need strength mm -hmm. this 2017 the joy of the lord is your strength but you need wisdom remember mm -hmm. the, the 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 proverb 31 woman you need wisdom to run anything at all every every day activity things that come your way you need wisdom and the wisdom cannot just come if you don't ask for it so when you are praying this year through this year let uh prayer for wisdom be one of the major prayer points that you need because when you pray about it when you talk to god and say father i need wisdom to undo my home i need wisdom to to to, to manage my 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 marriage i need wisdom to manage my relationship you will see the way things will turn around so most of the time we've been praying a, a, an ignorant mm -hmm. prayers you know we've been praying amiss and that's why we are not having results praying only for wisdom we will see how it will transform the situation that you are in right now so uh, wisdom gives wealth it gives wealth and riches and if you ask me most of us what we run up and down for is we are looking for money so if wisdom if God's wisdom, if divine wisdom gives wealth and riches, why can't we just make it a major prayer point this year? And say, Father, give me wisdom. Ah, he, he blesses us. He's the one that blesses us without adding any sorrow to it. So if you want to ask for blessings from the Lord, tell God to give you wisdom. On Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tell God to give you wisdom. And um, if God gives you wisdom, you will be shocked. There are so many stories in the Bible, but I don't want to bore you because you've had enough in the church. So I want to just tell you that whatever you want, it says wisdom gives riches and wealth. So you are looking for wealth. Go for, go for wisdom. Ask God to give you wisdom. Through his word, carry your Bible. Study the word of God. Because there is limitation to the worldly wisdom. You are very corny. You are very crafty. You are very wise. That's not enough. That might not bring you to all this benefit I'm saying. You might, you might, you might enjoy it today, but it might not last. But when we are talking about divine wisdom, it's wisdom that brings things to you for ev everlasting. It brings your blessings and the blessings abide and abound with you. So it might, this might be different from what you've been hearing since yesterday night, but God is telling me to tell you to ask for wisdom in 2017. Wisdom brings peace. If you want peace that pass all understanding, seek for wisdom. Wisdom also brings long life. I believe all of us want to live up to 120. All of us want to live old if Jesus tarries. So wisdom tells you, that you need to take care of your health wisdom tells you that you need to do what take care of your health you don't joke with your health so wisdom of god even gives long life so if you are wise you go to where you're supposed to go you don't go to where you are not supposed to go wisdom of god teaches you how to live life profitably Wisdom of God. In fact, if you ask my children to define wisdom for you, they will tell you wisdom is uh, being with the right person at the right time, doing the right thing. <laughs> that is the, the way they describe or define wisdom. If you wake them up in the night, they will, they will just define that for you. So wisdom is, is the principal thing. And the Lord is saying what? Get wisdom. In, your, in all you're getting, you should get understanding. So it's important. Wisdom also gives you good sense of judgment. Wisdom gives you good sense of judgment. So if you've been judging your husband, if you've been judging your wife without thinking about it, you, when you pray regularly, when you ask God for wisdom, it makes you to judge correctly. 
it gives you insight into the situation and helps you to be able to judge you know to, to be able to see the matter the way it is so that is these are the things wisdom does so it is very very important for us to seek for wisdom because i see god helping us to build a stronger a stronger home this year a stronger marriage and stronger relationships even with other people you know wisdom you, it requires wisdom for you to know who to move with who to avoid even in the, this new year everyone cannot be your friend but you need the wisdom of god you need the wisdom to be able to say no to those you need to say no to you need the wisdom of god to say yes so the wisdom of god is very very important when we operate in wisdom it shows it shows a man of wisdom or a woman of wisdom does not just open a mouth or his mouth when you open your mouth what comes out of that mouth is words of wisdom i went to minister somewhere a few weeks ago and i said some of us we just make noise we make noise we are not making sense so this new year i just prayed for you that every word that will come out of your mouth as a wife as husband as as um it's even a single lady or even as children anything that will come out of our mouth will be what words of wisdom in the name of jesus so when you talk and your talk and what you say makes sense people around you they respect you so wisdom bring respect wisdom also bring respect that's why people will look at you and even your friends and your enemies when they, when you when they see the kind of wisdom you display they will they will, they, they marvel so it requires wisdom to move in this year so you don't just open your mouth and make noise you need to make sense so maybe your husband has not been you know responding to you because all you do is make noise sisters i want you to begin to make sense pray for wisdom tell god to give you wisdom give you understanding on how to undo situation in your home so please this new year seek for wisdom seek for knowledge some of us we need to understand we don't have to be naive we don't have to be gullible we don't have to be you know just there not knowing what is going on some of us need to read more you need to read books the area you are lacking behind just get some mm -hmm. some books and read about them find out why things are like this find out what you can do to improve your marriage you know the area you are lacking there's nothing bad in you getting some books in that area and read we need wisdom and the lord is going to give all of us wisdom from above in jesus name so when you are praying pray you know in such a way that the lord almighty will answer you ability to perceive with discernment is and see things in with god's eyes that's another definition for for wisdom so wisdom is the application of knowledge so if you are not knowledgeable if you don't have knowledge what do you want to apply <laughs> so knowledge is actually learning acquiring learning new things discerning so knowledge is important for you and me so ignorance is one of the major problem in marriage today many people are ignorant of one thing or the other and they are they are suffering for that ignorance if only they can get wisdom if only they can seek knowledge and understand they will understand better and they will be able to pray a, a, a proper and appropriate prayer so understanding wisdom is uh, knowledge is also information is information so as many information that we can get this year get it get as many information as possible uh understanding is how to how you bring it together you know application of uh knowledge i said is um, wisdom now understanding is how to apply it to your day-to-day -day life once you understand what wisdom is you understand you you acquire knowledge then you understand it then you'll be able to apply it to your day-to-day -day life 
you bring it together you bring the skills that you've learned the information you've gotten then you'll be able to apply it even to your situation so i believe that this year no matter the opposition i don't care how many things that are coming you know to oppose you this year with the wisdom of god that you you are going to get you will overcome them all in jesus name another thing that the Lord is leading me to tell you today, apart from seeking for wisdom, Sister Buki, thank you for joining. My sister-in-law from Italy, thank you, Sister Bosedi. Thank you for joining. Woman of God, God bless you, man. Thank you. So another thing is disobedience. The Lord is telling me to warn us this year. Don't disobey God. Whatever the Lord is telling you to do, I encourage you to do it. And the, where you are going to read that the Lord is going to minister to you is the book of Jonah. Go and read the book of Jonah. If you read the book of Jonah, you understand what happened. So there are some people this year that if you, if you move with, they will bring trouble into your, into your home. They will, they, will, they will bring trouble into your business. They will bring trouble into your marriage just because you associate with them. I believe I'm ministering to somebody. So through the wisdom that you seek, through asking God for wisdom, you will be able to know who to, who to move with, who to avoid, you know, and you'll be able to, to do things right. So don't go to where the presence of the Lord will not go with you this year. Be sure that God is leading you. Whatever you want to do, whatever steps you want to take, don't disobey God. Any time you are adamant in 2017, I can assure you there is going to be storm. If you are adamant this year, if you want to do things your own way, you want to insist on, on doing things your own way, you don't want to, God to lead you, then expect storm. But if you follow the way of the Lord, follow the will of God, and do what God asks you to do, I tell you, no opposition will be able to stand before you. No, no, nothing will be able to hinder you from achieving all that you have, you know, I marked to achieve this year, even beyond in the name of Jesus. So make sure this year, you in your prayer every day, you ask God for wisdom because wisdom will give you direction, will give you authority. Wisdom will give you riches. It will give you wealth. It will give you um, respect. It will give you peace. It will give you wisdom. Will give you long life. Now, tell me what are we? What do we really want in all our prayer points? What are they? What are we saying? This is what most of us are asking God. But God is saying, replace all those three, four hours of prayers to just ask for wisdom. And by the time you ask for wisdom, you will see the direction that the Lord will take you through in getting those same things that you've been asking for without having the answer or the result. I believe I've just given the message the Lord has given me today. So make sure to you 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 obey God. Don't disobey God. If you are not clear about any 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 information or any instruction, go back to God and say, God, what exactly are you saying? Because disobedience brings storm, invites storm into our home, invites storm into our marriage. I think I'm talking to some singles right now. If the Lord is telling you not to go ahead with that relationship, don't force yourself because you are going to experience storm and um, it would have been too late. I don't know whether there is any single listening to me now, but God is telling me that disobedience in 2017 will invite storm into whatever you are doing. So make sure you obey the Lord and do his will. I I am going to make sure that I spend 30 minutes today uh, because I want this new year, I want us to have more time and more broadcast so that we can tackle so many other things. God bless you. How many people listened to the message yesterday? How many of us listened to the message yesterday? I remember I, I asked before. Amen. Please, I just want us to go back and share please if you if after today thank you you uh, sister Olabody, thank you for joining 
today share today's message and uh, leave your comments if you have any comments today but i want to assure you that everything that you desire from the lord the lord will grant you this new year the lord is going to do extraordinary things in your home the lord is going to do extraordinary things in your marriage the lord is going to catapult you from where you were to where you are supposed to be this year you are not going to be in obscurity but you're going to be in limelight this year i see your marriage becoming a role model i see people seeing that transformation in you and people begin to comment how come what what has happened to you because you can't be asking god for wisdom every day and things will not change and a man of wisdom a woman of wisdom it shows in everything you do people just know that this person is just not ordinary it is god that is leading him or her so i pray that this new year as you seek wisdom as you ask god for wisdom everything will be easy for you things will be easy for you things will be easy for you in the mighty name of jesus thank you for listening to me tonight i really really appreciate you and i want you to please share the link i want us to share the link i want us to do me a favor by sending me two things i want to request two things i want to see you know we just talked about obedience and wisdom I want you to do, to, to do two things for me. The first thing is send just one prayer request. I went somewhere yesterday. I, let me quickly share this testimony. I went to, I was supposed to be in Italy with my husband for a uh, holiday, but some things happened and uh, we couldn't go. So we now, you know, we talked to the Lord. We want to fellowship somewhere for the watch night, but we just don't want to go anywhere. That's what we are talking about seeking god for everything you do so the lord led us to a church this church we were looking for their flyer for 2017 they watch night we didn't see anything that shows that they were having service but my husband said anyway we are going there so i we got there i wanted to hide and sit at the back but i remembered i've ministered in that church i ministered there last year and um I just left before leaving that when I ministered there, I prayed and God led me to minister to two single sisters. And already we've I've met the woman of God sometimes this last year, and she told me that God did it, that both of them were engaged. So as I entered the church yesterday, the woman of God said, This is your testimony. This is the lady, she's married now. And I was so, you know, two of them, yeah, God answered two of them, but I met one yesterday night. I was so excited because the Lord confirmed the word of the servant. The lady is heavy now, happily married. She was happy. She just hugged me. That is what we are talking about. When you are anointed, when you are anointed to do something, it's different. It's, I've been anointed to pray for singles, for, mar for homes. So even if your marriage has not been working, I speak from today that your marriage will begin to work. Because I speak it, it will begin to work. Because I say it, the Lord will make it work in the name of Jesus. Especially if you are still interested in the relationship. The Lord is saying to me, as many marriages that have not been working properly in 2016, this year they begin to work. Because you will begin to work in the wisdom of God. And as many singles listening to me, Trusting God, you know you're of age. Your age is just a number. But you know you're of age. It's time for you to settle down. The Lord is going to settle you this 2017 in the name of Jesus. I was excited to see that lady yesterday. She was so happy. You know, I put my ring in their fingers then. Now she's having a real wedding ring in her finger. What a wonderful God we serve. I thank God for that testimony. Two things I said you should do for me this new year, this first day of 2017. You are going to send me a prayer request, just one, with your name and the request to my phone number 07-480-136-009. Send one prayer request and I want you to send me one challenging area that you want me to talk about in 2017. In, it might be in the area of relationship or marriage or single. There is one area you want me to just talk about. This is another number you are putting. Please put the second number. I want, because it's going to come on this one. I want it on the 07480 
Yes. So please, first thing is send me a prayer, your prayer request for 2017 and send me a, a, a whatever area that you want me to talk about in this new year or whatever you are going through you want god to you know you want me to share shed more light on through the grace of god we'll be able to do that mm -hmm. just send those two to me as soon as possible i see god you know taking us to higher ground this year in the name of jesus I, as we seek for wisdom god's wisdom i see things turning around even for our good in the mighty name of jesus thank you very much for listening to me today has anyone been blessed i saw mr babalola saying god has confirmed something again today i don't know what to say i don't know what to say i'm scared right now but i just know that since monday god has given me these scriptures and god has been telling me i have nothing to tell my people on the first than tell them to walk in wisdom in 2017 and I thank God I've been, I've been able to deliver the message and you are going to be blessed as you do that in Jesus' name. Love you all. Thank you very much. Please share the link. Even during the week, you can comment and you can still continue to share the link to our loved ones, our friends on Facebook. God bless you. Anytime you see me on without announcing is because I have something to share. Please always feel free to join me. God bless you. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Happy New Year to you all. God bless you.